so much. Today, the Precinct 4 the deputy constable who was shot and killed in an ambush will be laid to rest. Kareem Atkins was shot and killed while working off-duty security just over a week ago. The funeral procession for Deputy Atkins is happening uh, in just over an hour. Our Brittany Jeffers is live for us from Champion Forest Baptist Church in spring with those details. Brittany, good morning. Yeah, good morning to you. And that funeral service will be taking place here at the church. But uh, first, as you mentioned, that procession will be starting in about an hour and a half, around 7.30 this morning, the beginning of what will likely be a very solemn day. Preparing to say goodbye to a man who dedicated his life protecting others. As we reported, Harris County Precinct 4 Constable Deputy Kareem Adkins, along with two other deputies, were ambushed by a man with a rifle while they were working an extra shift at a bar on the North Freeway. Deputy Adkins, a husband and father of two, died from his injuries. Our entire department is heartbroken. Last week, I spoke with Constable Mark Herman. He told me this has been a difficult time for the department as they prepare for the funeral service to say goodbye to their colleague and friend. He says there was extensive planning ahead of the funeral services. Uh, it's going to be a, a full police honors uh, line of uh, uh, death uh, funeral and uh, it's just a lot putting it together but we want to do it and get it done the right way to give uh, Deputy uh, Atkins what he so deserves. Beginning at 7:30 this morning this is the route of the procession from the funeral home to Champion Forest Baptist Church. The procession will travel east on FM 2920 turning south onto Stubner Airline Road before arriving at the church. The public is allowed to attend visitation beginning at 11 o'clock this morning. The funeral service will follow at 2 o'clock immediately followed by a graveside service at Klein Memorial Park Cemetery. So again, that procession set to take place around 7.30 this morning. Within the past 20 minutes or so, we've started to see uh, more uh, movement here at the church this morning. Many people uh, from the police department, deputies as well, getting set up out here ahead of these funeral services this morning. Reporting live, I'm Brittany Jeffers, KPRC 2 News.